everyone. I hope you are doing fantastic. Today I want to talk to you about something that is very important in the landscape and that is deadheading. Well, does it have to be something that you do? No, it does not. But does it make the plant look better? Yes, it does. Does it encourage new growth? Yes, it does. So, I have this geranium that I am overwintering in my greenhouse. I'm coming to you from my greenhouse in the middle of January and I don't think it gets any better than this. So, what is deadheading? Deadheading is simply removing the dead off of a plant. Um, a lot of times you can pinch it off with your thumb or you can use some, some pruners or you can use some scissors. And today I'm just going to use my hands just to show you you don't have to have tools to do this when it comes to house plants or your um, softer plants. If you go to deadhead roses, you definitely want to use something other than your hands because you're going to have thorns, obviously. Right? Duh. Okay, so this is a geranium. Do you see all of the brown that is throughout the plant? Well, I don't like the look of that. I like my plants to look nice and tidy and clean. Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to do a little bit of maintenance on this plant. So I'm going to show you how you deadhead and I'll show you the before. See, it kind of looks a little raggedy. I don't like raggedy. And I have made a mess all over myself, as usual. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me move the camera angle just a little bit. All right, so everywhere there is dead, I'm just going in and I am cleaning it out. Being very careful not to damage the good. Um, geraniums are very soft and you can easily pinch them off but you can also easily damage them. So you just wanna be really, really careful. Ferns, you can do the same. Um, you can just go in and, and print it back. You can cut it all the way back to the base. Um, whatever, if the frond has the, do you like that fancy term, frond? Um, anyway, that's what you call a fern branch. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm, I'm just going to get these out. And I'll show you what it looks like when I am done. So just like we get a haircut, Plants need a haircut sometimes too, and I call that deadheading. It's just a way of providing some little general maintenance, like self-care Sunday for us, um, or for me at least, I don't know. Um, just sounded good. Anyway, you want to remove the dead off of the plants just to give them life. You know, the plant is putting energy toward any part of it that is living. And if it has a leaf, if it has a, a bloom and it's dying or it's on its way out, um, you know, you want to pop that off and help your plant to put the energy elsewhere. You don't want to have like fruit for example, on an apple tree. If you've got one that's bad, pop it off. You don't want to let that apple tree keep putting energy and effort into that when there's a million other that they can put it toward. So I hope that helps you to understand a little bit. Remember, you don't have to have fancy tools. A lot of times you can use your hands, except for the roses. And, you know, it's a great routine to get into. In the summers, I have hibiscus on my back porch and I go out and I they, they bloom and then they're done and then they regenerate a new bloom um, for the next day. The same bloom doesn't open back up. So I'll pop those spent blooms off and I'll just discard them. It's a great practice to get into. A lot of plants need deadheading, um, and it just really does make the plant look better. So anyway, I hope this has been educational for you. I would love to hear from you. If you deadhead, I would love to know it. What plants do you deadhead? Have you ever even heard of this? Did you have no idea what the heck I was talking about? I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care, everybody.